like you fucking read Bing about. Bong. Bing bong. Welcome, Bike Stevie One Chains to the stewed, to the stew. <laughs> Don't be hitting buttons the whole time. You gave me access to the buttons. For a reasonable amount of presses. I need my own board. <laughs> you don't need your own. No, board. I need my own board. I actually would like to. That should be a draft. That should be a herd of ghost draft. Best sound sound clips to put on a fucking. Yeah, board. let's do it. All right, one chains in the house. First time you're doing a, a full podcast with us, correct? Yeah, it's in actually here? it's good to be well, here in a I while. Mean, in a while. In a while. I mean, in, in, in the studio. Oh, in here for sure. Yeah, yeah, in here. Yeah, this is great. Everything's yeah, looking he's great. He's a seasoned pro, though. Yeah, of course. He's, he's a vet. Of course. Yeah. Have you seen this guy? It's like riding a bike, dude. I'm back. All right, so. Today's episode, we're gonna we're gonna run through some some news and notes around the NFL. Uh, Devontae Adams push heard around the world. Ooh. Maybe a, a head coach firing or two. We're gonna get into a segment called Best or Bust Rapid Fire. Uh, we're gonna give some updates on the E Town Get Down, which you guys have been fiending for. We'll talk a little bash updates, so our leagues in there, and then uh, we're gonna do a little snake draft. Some of y'all might remember Herd of Goats. Okay, snake draft, all things, all things fall. We're gonna take turns, you know. You know, there's you guys a lot know of things I love about you know the how fall. draft works. You've yeah. seen this draft. There's a lot of things you I love, love. The fall. You just favorite have to month. keep asking everyone around the office what their favorite things. No, are. I didn't do that. I, I saw you, know. I saw you <laughs> doing that. Well, I mean, you Jared's did it too, motherfucker. Sexy I did. Pats is Canadian. I like to get the <laughs> whole like, you know. I was surveying. Animal, why'd you Google put it? Bye weeks at the top. Well, just, I think just it's a just a general reminder. It's a good week to. It's a good thing to start off just to let everyone know. Like, there's some bye weeks going on. There's some significant players on some of these teams. We got the Detroit Lions, not really significant players. The Las Vegas Raiders, Detroit Lions, the Tennessee. Titans and the Houston Texans are all on by this well, week. Well, I'll tell you what. I just got a text message from Kelly, quote, unquote, I don't have a QB for this week. <laughs> exactly. I know she has Devonta, uh, Derek We're in Carr. The, in the bash? Yeah, she drafted she Derek sucked. Carr very, very early. Um, so, yeah, Detroit Lions, Las Vegas Raiders, Tennessee Titans, Houston Texans. Not exactly what I'd say is like a power list of teams, hey, but certainly some fantasy players sprinkled in. three running backs on there that are legit. Actually, four. Every, every one of these teams has a really good running back. Yes. We have Swift out. We got Jacobs. We got Henry. We've got Damian Pierce. Kelly's in trouble. I was saying it before in the bash. Like you're almost locked into your roster a little bit. You were very. You no, know, the guys locked. are picking up the second strings, the third strings. Like finding a quarterback on the waiver wire for Kelly. She's in trouble. She's in big trouble. I'm not Maybe gonna lie. She's, she's in trouble. She's not gonna find one. She's gonna have to start a different uh, position in her superflex there. Yeah. So speaking of bye weeks, Devonte Adams might be on his own bye week this week, <laughs> depending on what the uh, NFL decides to do. After we all saw the video of him pushing a cameraman who was crossing his path. Yeah. I mean, what do you think? Was he crossing his path? Um, there was definitely a path crossage. Uh, I mean, obviously, he crossed his path, so that was a dead giveaway. Also, he wasn't a cameraman. Like, so this, let's get this straight. This guy is like a freelance. He had grip? He had like a... Like a freelance like camera assistant. This guy couldn't be making more than $300, 400 for that night. Why are you so angry? Isn't that what you... Aren't you a freelance like media camera Well, yes. Guy? That's that's why I have to have his back. <laughs> yeah, it have sounds have like you back. don't have his back. It sounds like you wanted Devontae to run... Are you... You're no, projecting I, right now. What like, I'm Devante saying is that let, this guy's working. You know what I'm saying? I'm on his side and okay. I get it. If you're ever going to get push, pushed, let it be a rich person that pushes you. For sure. you know Just what I'm signed saying? a fatty. Yeah. Just yeah. signed a fatty. Like, you don't want like the fucking lady working the popcorn stand to push you over because then what are you going to do? It's like, all right, <laughs> you bitch. going to give you free popcorn. You fucking yeah. bitch. You put, yeah, maybe you get a bag of popcorn out of it. But when a fight rich her. person pushes you, you, you ham it up. The you, problem with this is like the angles that were caught on camera and the way social media is nowadays. Devonte Adams looked like a piece of shit in that yes. video. The Just, first video for sure. The second video, not so much. I didn't. I don't think I saw the second. Second angle. video is like directly behind him, and you can see like he's got a helmet on. Yeah. This dude comes out of nowhere, and he just like St- no, 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 no. It's not a get. It's not a get out of my way push. It's not like a spur of the moment thing. He pauses. The guy's in front of him. This is like a fuck you. You, you like get out well, of my I, fucking way. I'm pissed. I'm not push. defending him completely. I just think there's some defense there. There's a difference in pushes. You know, Look, what I'm if saying? I'm the guy that got pushed, I'm still laying on the ground. <laughs> That's it. I'm still of course. There. That's what I'm saying. I'm not getting up. <laughs> yeah, the emotions. <laughs> The emotions got the best of Devonta. He was pissed off, and he absolutely just ransacked this yeah, dude. Yeah, for sure. No way around. He deserved at least like two or three mil. Yeah. Order, so, an, order a next brace, do we next think, brace from Amazon. So the NFL may or may not do something about it. Do you think they'd suspend him for one game? Is there I, a punishment at all? I almost think you have to. Like you I can't agree. have the video was just it was just too yeah. too much. You can't have players pushing people over. No, no you can't. The, the Devontae Adams thing is just like, like overly excessive. You yeah. just didn't have to do that. You know, I don't know what the injuries are. I don't know how much money he's going to get from him, but it feels like it, it was not a good thing for. Well, us. let me ask you this: You're you're Goodell. What's your punishment? What's your price? Uh, I don't care about the fine. I don't know what that even 
I don't even know how you would equate it, but I would just go with them one game. One game. Yeah, suspension. it's going to be one game, maybe like 50K. Probably yeah, I would fine. make it similar to like the Mike Evans thing. Like if you have yeah. like a, an, a, a scenario where you're being violent on the field, it's the same like thing. You know, they spend you one game. Yeah. One game. You have to. If it didn't go like viral on social media, like if it wasn't such a bad angle, then I don't think much would have happened yeah. from it. But because it went out there, it was Yeah, it didn't right. look good. He just looked like a dick. You never want to look like a dick. Yeah, I, th- I think he gets a game. Uh, yeah. Matt Rule gets a whole lifetime. Yeah, <laughs> yes. he's done, huh? Big fired. Um, Will he find his? He'll find a spot in college football, though. Yeah. Oh, Nebraska probably. Yeah, that's, that's never a problem. And also, he's getting paid like eight hundred k a game or something like that. Eight hundred k. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. Well, he got he got seven years. I don't know how much of that was guaranteed with Carolina, but these contracts, everyone fights for guaranteed contracts, and then they could still get fired and then not get paid. I feel like half of the half the money. No, but I thought you do get paid with guaranteed contract. But he had a seven year deal. There's no way they're paying him for seven years. Like, of course, like that's five, like the dream job. Yeah. Like get five years guaranteed. Who knows? Either way. He's making like 800K for the next like four years, I think. Oh, he is going to get it for the next I think it's like 800K. That's great. In a game. God, you know how much you got to hate a dude to fire him and still Yeah, have like to if pay there's him. only a job out there where you can get, get guaranteed money, do shitty, get fired, and then just collect a paycheck. God, that's like that's the, the American ulti- dream. That's the ultimate there. cuck right there. Yeah. So Matt Rule coached 38 games for the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers still owe him over 40 million. Holy Rule shit. Rule will make 834,000 per month for the next 48 months Oof. after being fired. 800,000 for, for the next 48 months. Yes. Holy. That's crazy. Andrew K a month. So that's what you get for doing guaranteed shit. I almost feel like when does a long term guarantee? Ha- if you look at oh, you look at like Gruden, you look at Matt Rule. None of the coaches that have actually proved anything beforehand going to like a new system should get guaranteed money for the long term. Like Andy Reid, you give him guaranteed money for the long term because you already know what he does. Yeah, you know what point. he'll do in your system. But like you get a new coach like Robert Sala. I don't know what his deal was, but if you give him like seven years all guaranteed, you're fucked. Yeah, I mean, the, most of them do stuff like that now because it's just... You have to. Yeah. It's annoying, yeah. It's, it's crazy. Like, it's like you it's have to pay for the ceiling even though the ceiling's probably not going to fucking happen. Um, he'll find a, a spot somewhere in college. I think Steve Wilkes takes over as the interim head coach. This team is just in shambles. They're talking about getting rid of C-Mac, possibly trading him. The Bills inquired about him. That would be crazy. Him. Is, uh, it, say he goes to the Bills. He's RB1 rest of the season. It's going to be... I mean, yeah. He just I'd like to be like stuff. maybe it's a committee because he's new, but not even, there's no I'm one I'm not there. saying a committee. I'd be more worried about just there's a lot of mouths to feed there and like there could be the games where he just doesn't get involved, but he's going to get involved every game. Yeah, no. Well, you feed him. You I don't feed want his see, mouth. Yeah. He has the biggest mouth in the place. You feed him. Holy shit, that offense would be dynamite. It would be crazy. Insane. I don't, all just catches out of the backfield and all that. I don't know if they'll actually do it. Like, who do they even? Who, what can they give up for him? I don't know. Like, I mean, at this those, point, here's the thing. Sure. Yeah, they'd give it like probably like a fourth or fifth round because what happens is you got to take on the contract. The contract itself is like such a, a liability on that trade side. So it's you know if you, if you decide to take that on, then you don't really have to give much up because you're getting that off the books for the Panthers. But um, they have a lot of money invested, obviously in Diggs and Allen in in their offense already. So it's like. You know, how much how much do they really value to do like C-Mac? But if you look back at the offseason, they wanted J.D. McKissick bad. They drafted James Cook in the second round. So they clearly want a pass catcher or a playmaker from the backfield. So maybe, I don't know, maybe they think this is the thing that pushes them over the edge for the Super Bowl. I mean, for offensive firepower. Would, yeah, I mean, yeah. It definitely helps. He's definitely How uh, how happy do you think that makes McCaffrey, by the way? You think he's upset to leave? Like his family's there, everything. I'm no, sure he, he lives there. Dude, that team whatever. sucks. He's happy he to leave. He can't be having fun playing football on that team. Yeah, no way. Like they all say, like you know, they like the, the real guys want to win championships, and mm-hmm. like that's what makes football fun. Like Steve, that's Smith. where you go. You go to the Bills for that. Yeah, Steve yeah. Smith came out I think a couple days ago, and he was like, "If I was on this Panthers team, I'd re- I've requested a trade a fucking year." Ago. Yeah, I feel like DJ Moore is like just sitting there miserable, like he's like in mm-hmm. solitary confinement, and the Panthers basically just like it sucks. Though that sets your the Panthers back so far. I mean, mm-hmm. unless they're getting like draft capital or something like that, or they, I mean, money, they, I don't know. They hired a bad coach. They built a bad roster, and then they. With a different coach, is this a winning team? Hell no. It depends. You, see, they they're, suck. That's their quarterbacks saying, the are bad. It's Baker, Sam Darnold, Matt Crowell. Like look they have, at, look they at what Dable's doing stuff. in New York. You can't name anybody on that roster other than Saquon. I mean, I could. That's such a fraud you know team. I mean. the Giants, job. Dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, though? Like, I know, I know. It's a bunch of fucking nobodies. And not, nothing against them. It's just Dable's getting it done. Yeah. Coaching 100% matters. We're going to the fucking game on Sunday. I'm, yeah, we I mean, did. We're not going to the game. We're going to the tailgate. We're going to the tailgate. So we'll get to cheer on uh, Brian Dable from, from the... Uh, from the streets, if you guys, if anyone out there listening is a BDG3 holder, make sure that you're in the Discord because we are hosting the tailgate at MetLife Stadium and y'all that are uh, BDG3 holders are allowed to come. There's going to be food there? Are we food? There, there will, will be, be fucking food. There will be a lot of everything. Yeah, there's going to be food. food. There's going to be drink. There's going to be, uh, So I mean, that's really all you need. There's going to be one chains. Yeah, well, I'll be there. Let's food, go. Food and drink is kind of like the Yeah, uh, the food and essentials. drink. Food and drink and then we'll be there. Yes, and That's us. like the cherry on top. Sure. Um, all right, you want to do a little uh, rapid-fire fantasy? Let's go. Sure. So Let's explain the seg. 
So yeah. it's very simple. Um, I got some running backs, some wide receivers, and like two tight ends. Um, what I'm going to do is, it's called best or bust. So I'm going to give you a guy. I'll tell you his um, ranking for this week, too, and who they're playing against. And you just tell me if you think they're going to give you their best or they're going to bust this week. All right? Bust is a bad thing. Yeah. Okay. not It's not. Welcome, yeah, like, welcome uh, to fantasy football. I'm going to bust. Game, not that <laughs> no, like, oh, it's so good. I'm going to bust. Not, not right. the good bust. The okay, bad bust. Okay, sorry, sorry. Kid this show. Is, this is a children's show. Yeah. We forgot to tell you before we started. All right. Bust <laughs> is bad. All right. Best or bust. Rapid fire. So I'm going to go, you know, relatively quick. Yeah. The first, these are all running backs to start. We got James Robinson, ranked 23 at Indianapolis. Bust. Bust. Colts have a good run D. J. Rob. ETN's getting way too mixed in for my comfort right now. And J. Rob he hasn't been good since he's busted off like a forty yard run. And I just, you know, it's not something I want to depend on with J. Rob. Yeah, ETN seems like the guy that's just waiting in the wings to take over and it's I'm scared. It's waiting in the wings. I like that. All right. Joe Thank Mixon, RB eleven at New Orleans. Uh I th- I think I'll go best here rb11 feels like right around like he'll get a ton of volume so if he just gets into the end zone i think he'll be all right the saints team is a little like up in the air in terms of health i think cincinnati will you know they'll do some good things on offense you got a projected points on him i'm mixing no i can if you give me a second yeah i'll give you a second um you love mixing you love mixing i don't love mixing you love make dude you draft him every year I w- He's, uh, <laughs> you draft him every year and every drafted league. him one year last yeah every, year no it was a I last year. Drafted 14 points it was the RB three last year motherfucker 14 points in the bash, uh, bash, the bash, in the bash. i'll go i'll go um good best best i'll go best he's gonna give you his best yeah uh, i think i think he'll go over that all right aj dylan aj yeah, dylan so. yes aj dylan rb 26 versus new york jets Ooh. i go i go best here they had some comments so the coach came out and said like we got to get our running backs more involved so i think we'll see a little bit of a similar approach to it at the beginning of the season when him and aaron jones both get like 15 touches each he's super due for a touchdown or something here he's you know really good player the playing against the jets defense was actually kind of underrated but thank you but thank you rb 26 feels like a little a little far off so i, I, I like dylan to best that yeah, I'm going bust. Um, they obviously have another running back there. Uh, I think they're going to throw a lot of the backfield where he that's not his strong point. Uh, I think the Jets have a great D-line. Um, I do believe that the Jets will be winning, and they'll want to be throwing. So, bust. I'm going bust. Najee Harris, Nick's favorite running bust. back in the NFL. Uh, this is his other favorite don't, running back. Don't care what his ranking is, bust. <laughs> RB21 versus Tampa Bay. Tough nope. matchup. No, Tampa Bay has a, gra- a great defense. Najee Harris sucks. The, the Pittsburgh Steelers suck. Their quarterback sucks. They all suck. Uh, they ain't doing nothing. Couldn't have all said right. it better myself. Yeah, thank you, sir. Love it. Kenneth Walker, RB15 versus Arizona. Mm, I just finished my rankings, and I feel like mm. he is my RB14. So I guess technically we're going to go with best here. Um, I mean, the, the matchup is fantastic. They're obviously going to ride him till his fucking feet fall off. So I, I, I can I, can I fucking, this isn't uh, Gary V's over under properly rated. I need best or bust proper. <laughs> Properly rated. Proper. That's not even an option. It is now. For me, it is. I'm going bust just because I don't know too much about him. I I, I, slowly, I don't really know too I much. I slowly about want him. to agree with you just on the fact that everyone's so hyped about him this week, and I think DJ Dallas is going to like take the goal and carries and fuck him. Yeah, uh, a lot of hype there. Uh, he's got to prove it. You know, no guaranteed contracts here. That's right. This ain't, he ain't no coach. You know, Matt Rule. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wide receiver time. Let's go. Got a few of these. It's going to be so quick I answer this. Go. Yeah, Michael go. Pittman, wide receiver 16 for bust, Jacksonville. Bust, bust, bust. Matt Ryan has a wet noodle arm. He sucks. The Jeez. Colts, I mean, they don't even have a running game getting going. I'm just not buying into anything on that team. Best. Yeah, go. Best. Eight, that. eight for 90 and a touchdown. All righty. Amari That's Cooper. It's bullshit. bullshit. Wide receiver 21 versus Bill Belichick's New England Patriots. Amari Cooper's been you He's go. been hot and cold. But he's yeah, he's been hot. hot and cold. That's what I'm trying to think. He's mostly, mostly hot. hot. He's also, yeah, he's mostly hot. Um... Bill Belichick usually kind of shuts down the team's best offensive option, even though I do believe, obviously, it's Chubb and the Cooper's other Cooper's been out there. of control. These are, these are his five He's nuts. His five games, his yardage totals. 17, 101, 101, 9, 76. Mm-hmm. No, in those big games, he's had a touchdown on all of them, too. So they've been, like, real big fucking games. I'm going bust. Just because I think there's going to be a heavy run game, uh, a lot of clock ticking off the clock. I'll probably play the under. In uh, in gambling, but I'm going bust. I'm going to agree with that. I think both sides go super run heavy here. Yeah. I don't think there's a lot of tempo. I don't think there's a lot of pass attempts. Cooper, bust. Shortens the game. All bust. right. C.D. Lamb, wide receiver 11 at division rival Philadelphia Eagles. Who's the quarterback? Um, I believe it's Cooper Rush still. Bust. I don't know. Is Dak going to play? No, he's not. Uh, he's not. He's not. I don't I think know. he's going to yeah. His finger still hurts. Yeah. As a previous uh, quarterback myself, one of the worst things is a finger injury. Once you get the finger injury and you can't grip the ball, you can't throw. Oh, is that why you played like that? 
in high school? No, 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 no. I, no I he mean, never had a finger yeah. injury. No, I never had a finger injury. <laughs> no, I, was, I was aware of that. That yeah, was no. the joke, guys. I'm trying to like move. I would always move out of the way if like someone's going uh, to tackle. I'm going to so. go with I'm going to go with Bus as well. Eleven's high. Uh, his Philadelphia pass defense with James Bradbury there at cornerback is really fucking good. Yeah, bust, bust, big man. bust, bus, huge bust. All right, Christian Kirk. Wide receiver 17 at Indy. Best. He's been having some some pretty shitty games he, recently. Yes, I think it's a bounce back for him, though. Yeah, I also agree. I also agree he's, he's best. Um, what'd you say? What number wide receiver? 17. 17? I think we got a 16 out of him. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Wide receiver 16. I'll best right. him. I feel like he's always kind of been on the cusp of breaking out. And he now, was, like, all this year. He and had, then, like, yeah, a great had, start to the season, then a couple stinkers last year. Him and James years, Robinson. This whole offense yeah. is kind of, like, He's, like, the man now there, though, right? Like, he's the yeah. number one. Yeah. yeah. I do like Lawrence and how he's um, progressed. Um, he's had a couple stinkers, too, but I don't know. I'm going to go bust there. Uh, uh, best. I'm going to go best there. Best. All right, cool. Now we got some tight ends, and we're done. Mm. Let's do it. George Kittle, tight end six, but he's playing against Atlanta. Bust. Yeah, he's been so bad. Wait, what he's, do you mean? But he's playing against Atlanta. No, Atlanta team. sucks. I know. Here's, here's the thing. Our pass defense is actually very good. According to who? According to all my interpersonal <laughs> metrics. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, pass defense is good. Uh, here's the other thing. George Kittle just hasn't done anything. His ranking just stays up there because he's George Kittle, but the pass offense is not great. I think you know, I think it runs through Jeff Wilson. I think the game runs through Jeff Wilson this week. What was uh, What was Kittle's injury? What is he coming back from? He's good. Fine. He's played the last three weeks. He's oh, he has. He's been four blocking for, a lot. Four for 28, two for 24, five for 47. Just, oh, they're not doing sucks. anything there. Why are they not? Just not using him. I mean, now with Jimmy G back, you'd think he'd like kind of lean on him as a crutch. Uh, I love Kittle. Kittle Kittle plays with that fire that you got to love. Is he You know, do? you love to see. I do? think he's due, but maybe they're just not, I don't know, maybe they're just not game planning for him. I'm going to go bust. Just stick with the uh, stick with the course he's good playing. Call. David Njoku, very athletic tight end. Tight end seven versus New England. We already talked about Yeah, Amari we talked Cooper. about they're going to run a lot. Uh, gonna maybe a couple play everyone? actions. I go best here. Tight Joku's seven. been dynamite the last. Like, he hasn't he hasn't missed a beat in a month. Yeah, I'll go into Joku. Just one of those. Uh, t- good. He'll do good. You're just going to go with him? <laughs> no, I'm just going to go with him. He'll do good. I'll go you with the other is? guy he's, then. Thanks. They're finally using him. You know, he's, he's just one of those guys that's super athletic, and now finally someone's able to use him correctly. So it's like. Joku bust. Finally. Best. The Joku. Best. And finally. Give it to us. Gerald Everett, tight end eight. Versus Denver Broncos. Uh, best. He's, he's, he's going best. Terrible week last week, but he's been very good without uh, Keenan Allen in the lineup. Yeah. yeah. Even um, with Keenan in the lineup, he was good. He's been really inconsistent. He's been like, I feel like the bad version of David and Joku. So I do like him as position, a second, though. This is the tight end position where there's not a lot of options. Yeah. Everyone's kind of stinky. Yeah. Um, I don't know if Keenan's going to play this week. I, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go bust. I'm going to go bust here on, on Everett. Denver D is really good. Good, really good pass defense. Yeah. yeah. Really smart move there. I'm going best. I like it. Just because, I don't know, I think he's pretty good. I think Denver sucks. Um, but actually, you know what? Their issue is kind of that they just can't score. Yeah, our offense is terrible. Yeah. Max, question for you. Russell Wilson, bust or best? Uh, I hope he's done. I hope his career's over. No way. You're a hater now? Yeah, I want Brad Rippon in there. Everyone knows this. Rippon of the... I didn't uh, even want Russ when we got him. I was a, I was an avid not want Russer. Not wanter of Russ. Can confirm. Yeah, you got a good eye then. You can have it yeah. not want to rust. Some, some say sharp. All right, so that was rapid fire, best <laughs> or bust. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. If you didn't, just, uh, you know. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, I'm sure you'll let me know. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sure our entire comment section will, will, will be telling us. Um, Ooh, what do we got? Before we move on to a couple of E-Town and Bash updates, guys, we've got a free giveaway. This one's going out by next week, so we'll have a new SIG coming at you. Odell Beckham signed Super Bowl helmet. Absolutely free giveaway. All you got to do. Let's go to Pristine Auction, PristineAuction.com. The link to sign up will be down below. That's cool. It's very, very cool. I kind of want it. Can awesome. we just, like, rig this so I can have that? I mean, I hate Odell have Beckham, you, but that's really signed cool. Up. You can sign up and enter. How you signed up on Pristine? I haven't yet, but me? I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign up on uh, the site. Pristine Auction. <laughs> Use promo code BG. You'll get $10 towards your first auction on there, as well as free entry into this raffle giveaway. We will be picking it this week, and we will email out the winner. Pristine Auction, link down below. Thank you all. Like, Go actually do that, because that's pretty cool. Yes, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I want to put it on my head. I want to put it on your head. No. All right. Let's talk some E-Town Get Down. We haven't really mentioned it since uh, since we had the draft day vlog. Yeah, a little update. Yeah, let me, let me talk first, because I'm tied for first. Um, there was a huge debacle at the uh, draft. You know, all the bullshit, blah, blah, blah. Everyone says I suck. I don't. Uh, and you know what? Usually people hate on me, but then I end up being top dog. I'm top dog. Uh, in, a, in a minute, I'm going to call on you. You're also not top dog. Yeah, I was just going to say, you're not tied for first. You're in second place. Tied for first. That's not how 
No, you're in second place. You have fewer points than the person ahead of you. Yeah. Therefore, if the season ended today, you would not be. Oh, that's true. You know how this works. <laughs> you're, right? you're right. That's There's true. literally all a two right. next to your name. I'm second dog. Yeah, which means nothing. You're, you're a, just a dog. You're just all right, right. All right. I guess. Puppy. But, but no, um, you, you do have a great team. Your team is looking very strong. I thank think. You. Thank you very much. Um, us three all have very strong teams, and well, I lost. To, uh, here, here's. Did. Let me cry for a second. Yeah, cry please. I lost you guys in back-to-back weeks, Steve. Two weeks ago. I lost you by four points because Tua died in the middle of the game. Yes. This week, I lost you by 12 points because Teddy Bridgewater died on the first yeah. play of the game. Two Miami, lo- two Miami quarterback deaths have led to two bullshit losses. To these, I'd be 5-0 and oh otherwise. Just get stronger players. That's what I would Something say. Something Miami, that. dude. Something Honestly, bullshit when I, Miami. The, it came down to what? The Monday night game? And like literally, I sat on my couch. I turned the game on. And it was like, all right, I need these two things to happen. Within a minute, boom, it happens. Within you, another you minute, Kelsey, boom, it happens. The, yeah. Boom, it happens. It was just It like, was Sunday night and Monday night. Yeah. You had like four players it was going. Zero stress. Um, it's always nice beating you, obviously. And then, um, why? why? Yeah. I mean, you, you don't know, you do all this shit. It's nice to do it. And I mean, plus, like, yeah, I don't know. Bullshit ass losses should be 5 and 0, but I'm not, whatever. I'm now in fifth place and I'm slipping. But still, even if you have the bullshit ass losses, I mean, you still. You're still in it. You still score points. I mean, it can't hurt. Yeah, so, not too bad. Uh, oh, Max, say, you're right in there, Max. Yeah, so the top five leaderboard right now, we got, uh, for those that are familiar, we got Shane at the one spot. Mr. Steve right here is at the two. What's good? Uh, Steen. Oh, uh, shit. George. Steen jumped me. We made yeah. that $250 side bet. I know. He started off, I think, 0-2. I was going to bring that up. He did. He was 0-2. Now he's 3-2. and Steen doing what Steen does. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Steen, George is at uh, three. Uh, me right here. This guy. go, Steen. I'm at four, and the Nick is just slipping every week. He's now at the five spot. Uh, um, are you nervous? Because your quarterbacks are kind of no. it's kind of a problem. I just need no. As long if Jameis or Tua, one of those guys just stops being pussies and gets on the to the field, we're fine. Broken yeah. backs, broken heads, like that's we, a problem. Enough of this. That's what we in the biz call a problem. Yeah, whatever. Quarterback two doesn't even matter. Yo, the rest of my team is not good either, but whatever. You're such a cheapskate on the uh, waiver wire. What do you mean? I always you don't spend money. You're like a you're like. Dude, I dropped twenty seven dollars on Romeo Dobbs. Actually, I did like that. I did like that. Yeah, because everyone you sent else, me a it's like zero dollars, zero dollars. Like, spend some money. Like, you put out, you throw out so much like line. You know what I'm saying? Like fishing reference. You throw out so much line, but there's no money on the end. Okay, can we just say that I have basically the least fab left in the fucking league? Yeah, but you're yeah because you like nickel and dime people. Like, <laughs> yo, dude, well, spend some works. money. You spent all this fab already. About? Damn it, I had that point in my head, and then you just proved. You know it why wrong. he's spending zero? Because he has no fucking fab left. No, I get it, but every no, time I, I have look, sixty fab, you have fifty. You actually have less than me. I spent it. La- I spent it all last week. Yeah, you know what I spent it on? Dallas Cowboys defense. So, as a goodbye, except for they're playing. Philly no, no, this no. Week. It's, not, it's the long game, man. It's the fucking long game. You think that the whole season's decided this week? No, it is for it's not. Me. For it's it's the long play. Dallas, one of the best defenses in the league, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're good. They're playing a bunch of shitty teams, shit teams, shit teams, Giants, all this stuff. Like, if you have a solid defense and you get this was one of my points always, like get a good defense. Because it's fair. It's if like they having, score. Yeah, yeah. Like you're golden. And I'm thinking, I have them. I'll spend twenty bucks on them. I was like, someone's gonna put ten on them. Nope, no one put a single dollar. So I wasted twenty dollars, twenty two dollars, I think it was. But now I'm set for that position for the rest of the season. So yeah. no, that's fair because it's almost like having a good tight end or yeah. a good quarterback. Yeah, I have the Eagles and they've been pretty solid all year. So like, yeah, it's been, so it's get been that very great defense. Yeah, yeah. Get that good defense. Let me look at your team, Nick. Defense is usually something where I, where I struggle a lot trying to actually get oh, points from a defense. Clicky. So my wide receivers are still fucking dynamite. Mark Andrews has been so good for me. And I have Herbert, but the yeah. second quarterback spot is absolutely murdering me. What's your uh, What's your take on J- J.K. Dobbins? Uh, they I, I don't think they want to let him rip. I think he had the. We, I mean, we talked about it last week. Like he had the two touchdown game, where like there's a trap game yeah. coming up. He's not going to. He, he's not getting enough work, and he's not explosive enough. And that offense is not running through their running backs anymore. It's like Lamar every yeah. play, either him running it or throwing to Mark Andrews. So it's like. We need J.K. Dobbins to go 12 for 60, and he needs to score a touchdown. Otherwise, I'm not going to get much out of him. But that's kind of where my running backs are at right now, between him, James Robinson, who's been dying, Najee Harris, who's arguably the worst running back in the world, Damon Harris now out for a couple of weeks. Oh, my God. Dude, yeah. you're you're dying a slow death here. Yeah, I've been getting stabbed left and right. But every running back has been really bad this this year, so it's like it hasn't really killed my team because I've almost hit 4-4 four four on wide receivers. Evan Sutton, Mike Williams, Marquise Brown has been dynamite. And I have Alave and Dobbs on the bench. So when the bye weeks come around, I'll be able to fill in my flex spots and wide yeah. receiver spots. My running back and quarterback two is is problematic for sure. Where, uh, if you could think back, where did you go wrong in your draft? Najee Harris. I knew it as soon yeah. as I made the what pick. What pick did you get him? He was the, the two hundred five, I think, or two hundred four, depending on where I had. Yeah, cool. it was him or like like I should have just taken Cooper Cup, obviously. Oh yeah, yes. I mean that's mind blowing that Larry got 
Cooper Cup, and then Justin, and Justin Jefferson. Jefferson. Just yeah. insane. What a bunch of idiots we are. Yeah, we're all we're all so we're we're terrible. I mean, technically, he never made it back to me. So just you guys are idiots. Yeah, it was horrible. I knew I knew it too. I was like, as soon as I I, I hated him all off season, but I was like, I want to get an RB one and then not take one for nine rounds, and that's what I did. Uh, and then the other one too, right after the draft, I remember saying it into the fucking vlog camera was like. I shouldn't have taken. I took Winston when Brees Hall was available, and I was like, I know I need a second running back. I shouldn't have taken that, mm-hmm. and I fucked that up because I was oh. like, I hope he gets back to me. Brees Hall, New York Jets, yeah, looking good. good, pretty good. Yeah. Buster, Buster, best on him. Were they playing the Packers? Packers? Well, I'm just saying for the future, for the rest yeah. of the season. For the rest player. of the season, best. I like the way he's been. He's playing. Awesome. He's been RB one usage, and he's been looking like an actual RB one. So I mean, it's insane. The Jets his involvement a, in the passing game has been wild too. The yeah. Jets have a great. Young group of talent there now. Yeah, if only they had a quarterback. Uh, Damn. Oh. All right, uh, that's the E-Town Get Down update. If you got any more questions, you can drop them in the comment. We'll uh, we'll try to answer them next week. And we'll talk real quickly about the bash. Uh, my team is just like the E-Town Get Down, imploding. I think I'm 2-3 and three now. Started off 2-0, and oh, lost three straight, played against a guy who put up like 200 points last week. I'm not going to get into it because this will just make me fucking mad. Yeah, um, I am in, I believe, fourth. Let me double check that real quick. Here. You're fourth place in your That's pretty good. Yeah, I know I'm in third. Fuck y'all. Oh, that's Ooh. good. I'm in third. I'm uh, you so know, you're, you're not you're not bash. Uh, no, I'm three and yet. two. I got the two teams above me are both four and one. But I've been you know Josh Allen's basically carrying my team. Josh Allen, Nick Chubb, basically get all my points every week and just enough for me to win. The rest of the guys just kind of squeak by. You know what? All right, I'm in seventh, but I have the third most points scored, and I have by far and away the most points scored against me. So we've got a little bit of hope. We've got time. Oh, I'm ahead of cousin Mike, which is really all that matters. We're, about, we're approaching the halfway mark here. Week six, right? We got to week twelve, so yeah. We I got mean, time. Jeez. We for got me, time. for me, I'm in tenth. Um, the Shock. rest of my le- my team is falling apart. Injuries. Um, <laughs> You're in tenth. The the rest of my league is turning on me. There's a guy who literally uh, commandeered the commissionership. Why? Wait, are you League Four? Yeah, League Four. So he commandeered. How did he get access to it? Because uh, hold on. Wait, I don't know. If wait, he, wait, listen there's to this. No, he has access. To I, it. No, no, no. I am, I am fucking logged in on the BDG sleeper account. Yeah. And we have all the bash leagues on the left side, but League Four is not there. No, mine's there. Wait, Look what? at mine. Mine's one, two, three, five. Yeah, no, there's this one guy, and um, did he actually? I feel like he took the commissioner role. I, if you're watching, I don't, let's get him on the show one, uh, for next week. I would love to talk to this guy. He puts out a video He's making the vids. Yeah. yeah, he puts out a video where it's like League Four. <laughs> it's Ovi, right? Skirt. Yeah, League Four. He's bing like bong. Bing bang. He's like Steve sucks. Bing bong. He never shows up. He doesn't talk to anyone. He will. He. I'm taking over the commissionership. He's an empty suit. Is so I mean, empty suit. is uh, that he's Matt Gallo's Miss Field right? No, he's no. The commissioner. Oh, he's the Change his name to the commissioner. He sense. literally, Hostel took over. Just Everyone just listens to him now. I'm just another person in the bash. He's one in four. Oh, he's he sucks, but I mean, he, yeah, he puts so the content out. He's one in four, but he fucking rules the league. Which, Actually, which I, one's more important? I think I beat him, which I was very happy about. I got to look back, but before we yeah. pass off on the bash, can I ask you about a player I have on my team? What do you guys think about Cam Akers? I took know, him in literally every single league. It's, it's a, he's in a tough Why? spot. I don't know. He's on a he's, team that's just not very good right now, and... Um, yeah. He's not going to be involved in the offense to the point of where he needs to produce enough. Where but he who's getting enough. the who's getting the carries there? Their running back, their offensive line is so bad. No matter who gets the carries, they average like three point two yards it's, per carry. They yeah. don't throw the ball to their running backs much. Is the this a fluke is beginning Cop. though? Is this a fluke beginning, or are they, just, are they going to be better? He just don't have it. No. Fuck. No. Yeah. It's going to take him a minute to figure it out. I'm not. Acres is like a shaky flex play right now. He'll probably get more volume than whoever you have on the bench, so you yeah. like kind of have to play him. But I wouldn't, unless he gets in the end zone. Luckily, I'm not. Yeah, you can't be excited about him. That is whack. Y'all ready for herd goats? <laughs> Fuck yeah, herd of goats time, baby. <sighs> for those of y'all that are new to this segment, this is just a snake draft. We pick a random ass topic and then we go. Oh, uh, we didn't. We didn't decide um, order. I got an idea. Actually, Flip, I don't have an idea. Flip a coin. That's, there's three people. I just don't want Steve to go first. I mean, why? Because you fuck okay, it. You go first. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a random. I'm gonna I, just do randomizer. One chains. Let's go. Snake draft. All right. So we're doing topic of herd of goats. Fall. Anything fall. All right. I'll start us off. One oh one. Obviously, 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 I have to say football. It's football season. I know. I'm not gonna say what you said, even though I, I thought of it. And you're just gonna steal it. Um, you can't go wrong. High school football on Friday nights. There's nothing better. There's no better feeling than high school football. Then you're into Saturday, stop college living, football. Stop all the, fo- in the old ages. No, I'm just saying in general, like a, there's nothing like a Friday night high school football game. Saturdays, you got your college football, college game day, a lot of excitement. Some people say college football is more exciting to watch than pro football. Am I one of those people? Maybe. I might be. 
Maybe. Yeah, you just hit up Georgia. Like, that experience had to be awesome. Amazing. Does it make you want to go about, back and wish you would have went to a school like that? Yeah. yeah. I tried to enroll. I tried to get into grad school while I was there. What uh, What would your major be? Fucking business, dog. Oh, sorry, dog. Imagine they don't give me a full ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Like, I fucked up. literally own my own I business. I feel like they would deny me if I actually sent them a resume. Is Georgia a tough school to get into? Who knows? Go I dogs. And then uh, everyone's just barking there the whole time, so probably not. And then to finish that off, uh, you know, pro football Sundays, good food, drinking, hanging out with friends, tailgates, all that shit. Yeah. So one hundred and one football. Football's awesome. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Football's awesome. All right, thanks, Max. I'm gonna take the uh, layup here with uh, Halloween costumes for um, women. Women, fem- female oh, Halloween shit. costumes. I wasn't gonna say that. that's uh, very dudes. perverted, dude. That's yeah. really perverted. Listen, everyone's thinking it. You got to mention it. Oh, I wasn't. You were thinking it. Disgusting, honestly. So, you scant- First of all, scantily Instagram, clad women? Instagram for the month of October is insane. Yeah. All right. They do like those contests for the week. It's like uh, vote for this chick and, that, and everyone's just got ears on and no pants. I don't know, dude. You only value them for their bodies. Yeah, yes. you're a pervert. <laughs> As long as you can exactly. admit it. I'd All right, it. I can't hold it back anymore. I'm on board with that. <laughs> Halloween butt cheeks, Halloween boobies, I'm yeah. in. You know, like, oh, I'm a mouse. No, I'm a sexy mouse. No, I'm like a mouse with huge tits. So I'm in. I'm, I'm on. Like, I'm a quarterback with a sprained hand. No, I'm a <laughs> sexy quarterback with a sprained hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with my ass cheeks out. I specified chicks. All right, so we like, the animal likes... Uh, Halloween butt cheeks. Halloween, Halloween butt, cheeks. butt cheeks. He likes apparel that doesn't cover you up. I'm going to go on the opposite side, and I'm going to go with uh, hoodies. Just fits in general, all right? So just uh, being in the fall, it's you finally get to cover yourself up a little bit. Hoodie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoodies are cozy, and they're stylish. You can rock them with basically anything that you're wearing, and, you know, they've got nice imagery on them typically. For you sure. can really style out with hoodies, all right? So I'm going to put hoodies yeah. at the 103. That's pretty good, you know? Like, uh, I know you're in shape, but, like, for fat people, like... Um, are you pointing at me? I'm not pointing at you. I'm pointing you're, over there. You're pointing at me. <laughs> For like bigger people, you know, it's nice to cover up. And he's right. You know, we throw a flannel, throw a hoodie. Uh, it feels right. great. Like the, the number of flexi- flexible fits you can. Yeah, you, you can, can layer, throw hats on, beanies, everything. I like it. You talk it, but you don't walk it, Steve. How about, yeah, you, no. how about you layer up every once in a while, sir? Uh, sweatshirt. Uh, I'm literally wearing a hoodie and a t-shirt. Yeah, you need some style on top of it. We need a and flannel. Look, we need a denim jacket on you or something. Yeah, actually, yeah. It's just 95 degrees in this office. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very hot. Very hot. Okay. Uh, the 201. Y'all know me. Oh, I don't go. I go at the end. Yes, a, oh, I had a good okay. one. I'm a basic ass bitch. Hit it. Pumpkin. Pumpkin everything. I knew it was coming. You know, pumpkin flavored uh, coffee is not something I typically indulge in because it's just, it's just so bad for you. But pumpkin flavored beer, pumpkin, go to pumpkin. pumpkin flavored food. Like you walk into Trader Joe's right now, they have multiple sections just for pump, yeah. pumpkin cookies, pumpkin ice cream. All the fucking restaurants pumpkin are whipping out tarts. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, go. You like pumpkin pie? Uh, it's not my favorite pie, but I'm glad I, I'm happy when it comes comes around. And for a guy yeah, at the yeah, at the yeah. 201, a guy who likes pumpkin doesn't like pumpkin pie. What pumpkin. an asshole! Oh, I didn't say I, I didn't like pumpkin pie. I love all things pumpkin. Are you done? Uh, yeah, I'm one. Because I'm not. Because I'm not. Okay, go, go, <laughs> go. Pumpkin, pumpkin flavored things. You want to know what the one of the worst smells in the world is? Fucking, fucking pumpkin. <laughs> I mean, like a real pumpkin, like a legit. Oh, I didn't say pumpkin. carbon pumpkins. All right, good. Because my nephew was d- dealing with a pumpkin the other day. They were scooping it out. I, I literally puked on their faces. The smell of a legit pumpkin is horrific. It's not great. And they're like, oh, we're going to bake some seeds, some pumpkin seeds. Fuck that. Get it out of here. <laughs> Stupid fucking kids. Okay. I'm going to take uh, just the weather. Fall weather is uh, probably my favorite type of weather because you can wear pants and a t-shirt. You can wear a, a hoodie and shorts. You know, it's not too cold. It's not too hot. It's you know just what's a, weird? a good temperature. You know what's weird? What? Fall and spring, right? Like you could have the a day in fall could be 65 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and a day in spring <laughs> could be 65. But if you had to go like 51, 49, a spring day that's 65 feels on the hot side. Yes. And on the fall yeah, side, it feels cold. On. It's really weird how that is. It's just because I think the sun, I don't know. That's an astute observation. Right? Like, I don't know. I don't You're know. absolutely right. You know what it is? People are always like, want what they don't have. So in this situation, you know, like you want to start rocking those clothes. In that situation, it's like, yo, we want to get outside. We want to get, get some naked. sun on our yeah. skin. How about all they right? have Halloween in spring? That'd be sick. So like everyone just be naked all the time. You know, like halfway to Christmas, or halfway to Halloween, right? Is that what you're getting at? No. Okay. <laughs> Not at all. Um, okay. So pretty much Max just went with literally what Nick just said, like Halloween. Not at all. You said the weather, and then you're like, oh, yeah, because you could wear these clothes. Yeah, he just said talking, that. I was horrible about the pick. weather. He's talking about a fucking hoodie and outfits. Yeah. All right, it's I guess. Different. You like the weather. Grow sure. Up. Sure, a nice crisp fall air. Am I up? Yeah, you're just stalling because you don't have any. You get, <laughs> a, you get two in a row now. All right, two in a row. Let's go. All right, I'm going to delete 
fall wardrobe. Oh, I love this. All right, kind of kind of in the same. So what happens in the Northeast when the weather changes? The trees, oh my God, we got we to gotta change colors. We got to get ready for the fall and winter. Trees and leaves changing colors. There's nothing more beautiful than driving down uh, the New York Thruway or the New Jersey Parkway and or playing golf shit. and you see all the leaves. <laughs> trees on the parkway. Like, <laughs> no, 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 there's trees on the parkway. There no, is there's trees on the fucking there's parkway. Oh, the treeless parkway. There yeah, is okay. some, some calling trees bullshit. Like a section. There's no like. chance that you actually give a fuck about the color of the trees. Yeah, yeah, I, does. Honestly, it's all I care about in the fall. It's actually, I should have did that at 101 because it's one of my favorite things about the fall. People from all over the country, they don't necessarily have that and we do. You drive down, you play golf. Oh my God, look at those beautiful trees. They're a beautiful cornucopia of colors. It looks nice, yeah. It's not. I. I could. I don't care. Also, I haven't. There's no trees in the city, so I don't see them anyway. Okay, but, but you. I would put stepping on crunchy leaves. Greater sign the the changing of the colors. No, of the leaves. Max, how do you feel about the changing of colors? The changing of seasons. I don't seasons? care about leaves at all. They fall down, make a mess, and I got to pick them up and. Spin no, no, no. I'm ass. talking when they're still on the tree, guys. I'm shit. talking when they're on. He's the like tree. a child. I'm not going around looking at leaves. Like, oh, it's so pretty. I'm, I no. guarantee you've done that before, and I, you will do it this as year. As I was walking by, I was like, oh look, but I'm not gonna like go. <laughs> You know, so you do do it. I, I mean, I look at them when I'm out there because I have eyes, but I'm not sitting there going, it's so beautiful. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about a single leaf on this earth. I changed my, I literally Damn. changed my background. <laughs> I changed my background to a fall, to a fall setting. You know what mine is? Changing of leaves. Uh, it's not the Bronco schedule. What was. is it actually? It's just like a picture. It's been like that forever. Yeah. Well, as soon as you guys Bronco. lost week yeah, one, you, you were like, I'm, I'm out. Yeah, shit. All right, here we go. Here we go. Moving on. That was one of the better ones. Can't wait to hear this one. Soups and stews. Soups mm. and stews. Yikes. All right, so here we go, guys. So in the in the summer, oh, uh, burger. Okay. I want a burger. I want a dog. All this bullshit. Guess what? Just as the leaves are changing, our diets are changing. You get to have more of like the hearty, warm uh, steak stew, uh, brisket soup, chicken nudes. Your intake of food changes, and it goes. No, I, I was. Kind of just talking so someone so, would be no, like, here's, yeah. I was going to say, uh, <laughs> yeah. I think soup no. is kind of a winter thing. So I just, I'm not going to jump in too much there, but I think soup's more of a winter. A little pumpkin soup. Like, uh, I'm not going to lie. Pumpkin soup is good or honey nut squash soup. There you all go. right. Honey, just don't let me smell it in its original state. <laughs> no, Max, not even. You're the, no. Nope. I just think soup's a winter thing. Okay. I better so. not see you eating soup this fall. I <laughs> if I see it in the office, I'll slap it. I swear to man. God. That's actually, I'm guessing soup for Ike's lunch today. <laughs> He's getting fucking stew. Okay. You heard that? It's all right. animal. It's, uh, you know, something that we all probably did growing up, but, you know, it's the perfect weather to hang around by the fire pit. Oh, fire pit's good. Chilling at the fire pit, you know, smoking, drinking, uh, eating, making s'mores. It's always just a good time having good conversation. That's one of those sad things that, like, slowly exits your life as you get older. Yeah. It's terrible. I did it at a- What, fire pit life? Just, like, being around fire pits, yeah. At Steve's wedding, it brought me back. Yes, that was- Oh, yeah, that's right. At the after party, we were at the hotel. There was a big fire pit outside. Everyone was just, like, messed up, hanging out, talking, telling stories. It was fun. Yeah, that's great. It was a good time. I mean, I'd, I'd like to hate on it, but I agree. A good fire pit session is great. We could get a fire pit in the office. We could. We could. It might we be try. against regulation. We try. We don't Although, we'll get a fake one and one to turn to a fire. One to turn to a fire pit. You reek. You smell like smoke. I kind of sure. like that though. Reek. The shower. Wait. The shower. Oh, this could have been a good one. The shower after a fire pit is a mm. great fucking feeling. Get that smoky smell out of your hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it next if you want. A good fall shower. All uh, right. Yeah. Let me take the next two. I like that, Max. Uh, I'm going to leave. I feel like Halloween kind of like fell into your costumes for females, so we'll just leave Halloween outside there. But yeah. for 303, I'm just going to rip horror movies in general. Oh, uh, I didn't even think of that. They're they're like low-key. Yeah. my. They're the worst movies of all time, but they're also like my favorite genre of movies. <laughs> yes, love horror movies. I'll watch like any of them that look like they'd be... Wait, let's, ala- let's elaborate. Who is your favorite movie serial killer, killer protagonist? Uh, fucking Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger, for Ooh. sure. Uh, I feel like uh, Freddy Krueger is scary because like you can't get away from him. No, it's, everybody it's like sleeps. Sleep paralysis. Everybody you know? sleeps. You ever had yeah. that? Yeah, that's it's the same thing. And then even like the one, two, Freddy's coming. Yes, Freddy's probably that's the bar, scariest. Right? That's a bar. But as far as like my favorite, it's got to be Jason. Just running around chopping everyone up with machete. Hates fucking people having sex and just kills. Oh, them. he hates people. They're having They're coming sex. out with a new Halloween movie too. I know it's not Jason, but like every other Mike year. Myers is the goat too because he just walks. That's who I had. Mike Myers. Michael, yeah. he's back. Cruz is the goat. Yeah, they're they're having a tough time in the industry, really innovating in that genre. But I, yeah. I still no. Love but those are classic movies. killers. Like 
Um, you saw a movie slasher the other night? movies. You saw a movie the other night, like the New Age Horror. You know, I'm smile. talking like Smile. I saw Smile in theaters last. What do we think? Uh, I loved it because I love horror movies, but yeah. I could probably objectively be like most people are not going to like this at all. Okay, but it's one of my faves. So I love horror movies. I also love the transition from iced coffee into hot coffee. That's one of my favorite things. Oh. I'm not like a snob when it comes to coffee. And you know, some people are like, I only drink hot coffee all year round. I'm like, dog, it's 95 degrees. We're not there yet. Relax. I was going to say, we don't have, we're, we don't we're have, in the autumn and he's drinking a nice coffee. What a fucking fraud. Well, because it's 95 degrees in the office. Like you said, listen, I, uh, I would prefer 50, 50. If I only had to choose one, like I would like hot coffee. I also feel like uh, cold brew and iced coffee is like fake caffeine. I never feel energized from that I, shit. Hot coffee hits different. It hits different. It's just like more, you know, you could walk around with it and like warm yourself from it. I don't know. The transition is great. I love both. I love both, but I would take hot coffee over iced coffee. So transition is a beautiful thing. All right. Not, I got Not terrible. Hold I on. One. Can I touch one thing on that? And now I just forgot. You can, you can touch him. Um, fuck, I forgot. Go. God damn it. All right, I was just going to go ahead with my turn. God damn didn't it. Mean to disrespect. Now go. I'm sorry. All right, so this one, it's the fourth one, so it's whatever. But I'm going to go with uh, Han Solo girls. You know, like all the girls and they walk around. All right, so let me, hold on. Han Solo outfit. You see the girls walking around with that <laughs> stupid ass Han Solo outfit from Star Wars. No. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No, I've actually never seen that. I love to see because they all wear the same thing. on. They all look like idiots. And it just makes me happy and smile. You go out to a bar and you just see every girl oh. wearing the white shirt with the boots. And I got a jacket, question. Yeah, I, what the fuck are you talking about? I have no idea. Why is this one of your favorite things of fall? This is one of your favorite things of fall. They to all laugh at wear them? this outfit in the fall. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Apologies. You're just gonna pretend. I know. What you, no, no, no. I know what you mean. The tall boots, the jeans. Yes. Like you look. Well, they I look like they're outfit. about to go riding horses. Like, I'm saying. I hate it too. And a it puffy makes me vest. Laugh. Because you see at the bar, and there'll be seven girls all wearing the same exact thing. You hate it? You hate it? Yes. That's actually a great thing to talk about. Literally, the topic of this conversation is things we love about fall. <laughs> no, and I, you say I fucking hate it. You I fucking said, idiot. It makes me happy when I see it because I laugh. and it's, You love to I, hate. Yes. You love to that hate. Sounds like more dudes for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a tough look. I think that's a good look. Yeah, I think, I, Adam, I think you just threw your draft right there. But. Yeah. Some, I mean, here's something I, I love respect to you hate. as a person, but I hate to love. Every draft, I always have to have it. 403. Here's oh, back to me? Ra- wrap up the draft it. here. Oh, this is it? All right, all right, all right. Here we go. This is kind of a two-parter. Two-parter. All right. I love the holiday additions. All right, we got two elite holidays, all right? We got Thanksgiving, and we got October. Um, not October. <laughs> we have Halloween. We got Halloween, Halloween and, and we got Thanksgiving. Sure. Two fucking elite holidays, and Yom all right? I love them. And Yom Kippur for the Jewish people. I meant that up. I'm not sure. No, it's... Yeah. I think it might have been last month. It is October 4th and 5th. Shit. Ah, shout him out. Oh, that was mine then, Yom Kippur. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite that thing about fall is, is Yom Kippur. Pick? No, not at all. I'm saying the elite holidays, which plays into... This is one... This is true, that when a TV show, like a network TV show or some kind of TV show, yep. comes out with a holiday edition of their TV show... That's one of the things I love. Holiday oh, episodes. I love holiday, holiday episodes. Yeah. are so underrated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like... Um, the Boy Meets World Halloween episode sticks with me forever. Yo, like Mr. Feeney. Mr. Feeney yeah, the like, chalkboard forever. Exactly. Yeah, with the pencil. So, like, holiday edition, Mr. Feeney. Fuck. It's good. Yeah, thanks, it's a man. Really, thanks, It's a really thanks. good one. Yeah, um, on. All right, so for mine, I'm going to take holiday <laughs> episodes. <laughs> like, edit that in. Make it work. All right, so quick recap. 101, football. 102, Halloween costumes for females. 103, hoodies. 201, pumpkin-flavored things. 202, fall weather. 203, the leaves changing. 301, (laughs) soups and stews. 302, fire pit. Fire Pits, 303, Horror Movies, 401, The Transition from Ice Coffee into Hot Coffee, 402, Han Solo Outfits, 403, Dumb. Holiday Episodes of TV Shows. Great. You had a terrible pr- middle no, of the draft. I guarantee the people will go with what I said. I don't think I, I missed. I almost guarantee it. Yeah. Let us know what you think because that's horrible. Yours is okay. Your middle of your draft, mine was good. You know I, what it is? You guys did uh, things that were bad enough that I'm good. You have two really bad ones. I have one bad one. What was my two bad ones? The You're, changing of the, the colors? Middle. The leaves and the, whatever know. else you said. You, was that that won't play with our audience. I remember my coffee question, by the way. So me personally, when it comes to iced coffees, I love Starbucks. When it comes to hot coffees, I love Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts. Same good dog. Take, good take. Do you switch and swap? Same. Nah, it, it's business for me all the time. Okay. Like if it, whatever's in front of my face, I'm good for. So it doesn't matter where you get it. No, but I do prefer the way you lined it up there. Yes. Starbucks ice, Dunkin' Hot. Starbucks ice, Dunkin' Hot. Do the okay. same exact thing. Okay. Yeah. I know you guys are in the city. Do you get Gregory's ever? No, they suck. I hate Gregory's. Terrible what? blueberry muffins. If you go to Gregory's and get a blueberry muffin, you're getting a corn muffin with some blueberries that they stuck in on the side. It's pathetic. They gave you one blueberry. Yeah. yeah. They, 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 they put the blueberry in, in blueberry parts. muffin. Yeah. For sure. 
Yeah, Gregory's I've been to, it's fine. The timeout coffee across the street is kind of cool. Yeah, where they put favorite. it in the bottom. That's where I get iced coffees from now, actually. 787 Coffee, if you have one by you, they have rum infused cold brew. It's fucking delicious. Oh, that's cool. So good. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this all yeah, thing. No. Hit him with the skirt. Top left. Bing bong. All right. Um, uh, Han Solo costumes. Bing bong. Skirt. All right, that's going to wrap up this episode. Uh, if y'all have not already checked out Pristine Auction, make sure you go to the website. Use the link down below. Promo code BDGE. Hit the button that looks like this. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. All the things that YouTube people tell you to do. We're out of here. We'll see you uh, next Friday. Take it easy, guys. Skirt.